Hey guys, Unfrequented World, finally back out in the field today. We have been uh, inundated with about six inches of rain this week, so it's not been very pleasant. Uh, the field is nice and saturated behind me. I'm hoping to get some good deep signals today. Uh, I know you guys are feeling a little neglected because I haven't been around, um, so uh, I did trim the beard and the nose hairs this morning so you guys would feel special. And hopefully between that and this nice wet field, we'll have some good luck. Huh. Big old piece of wire. I trimmed my nose hairs for that. Wow, is it ever muddy out here today, guys. But uh, the signals are coming in good and loud. Here's a dime. 1991. Ah, there's one for the Antiques Roadshow. I'll get them to tell me what it is and that it's worth one million dollars. Ha! And I wasn't going to dig that. It's a loony. Good find. Oh yeah, there we go. Another loony. They ring up just like small pieces of wire. Okay guys, in the same hole as the loony, I just moved over an inch here. And uh, there's another coin, a dime. Couldn't figure out what was going on here. I'm chasing two signals, that's why. Here's a quarter. And down here in the hole, another quarter. And there might be more. <laughs> it's in this clump here. Oh, it's actually a coin. <laughs> A dime. 1996. So there's another dime. Okay guys, here's uh, another quarter. And um, so this is, it says Vancouver 2010. So it's one of the Olympic quarters that we had. But I think it's actually a 2008 coin. I got a few of these in my collection, but I don't have this one. So hey, there's one for my collection. And there's another coin here, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe more. Sure enough guys, I cut a little slit in the ground here and there's another quarter. Good stuff. 1986 quarter. And just feeling around on the surface, there's another something. And sure enough, there's another quarter guys. So, so far three quarters in a nice little spill. Hey, would you look at that? That's a 1992 Yukon quarter. I don't have one of those either, so... In the collection it goes. Well, I haven't found one of those in a while, guys. A little key. Yeah, first penny of the day. Surprisingly, haven't got a lot of those so far. Another penny, 1976. Yeah, 1998 penny. Okay, so now my Garrett is going wonky here, guys. I don't know what the heck's up today. Let's turn this on and watch this. There it goes. Can you hear that? It's just freaking out. Every time I turn it on, it's doing the same thing. Okay, so I've come back to the car and put in a new battery. Let's uh, see what happens. Okay, so it's not doing it right off the hop. Let's try. No, it seems to be working again. I did notice that the uh, battery reading was down to one bar but I've never seen it freak out before like that. Um, so I guess it just wasn't getting enough voltage, I don't know. Odd. Oh, long lost love, look at this. One here, and one over there. Looks like she's running from me, buddy. You better move faster than that. Anyway, uh, I've got a signal right on the surface here. 
Let's see what it is. Whoa, my mistake. He wasn't after the other one, he was after this one. Slow down, buddy, slow down. There's a whole herd of them out there. Don't waste it. Oh, jeez. That's more exciting than what the uh, find was. Right here in this little ball, we have something. I don't think I can uh, beat the excitement of that last clip there, but let's try. So it's the back of a pin. Let's see if we can't find the actual pin. Well, I was wrong. It's dime. The signal was going everywhere from 50 right up to 99, so... Maybe there's something else in the hole, too. I'll have to double check. Yep, I moved over about a foot, and there's another dime. Well, at least it's goldy colored. And looky there, another loony. Good show. Holy blazes, it's getting hot out here. Never thought I'd complain about that, but uh, it's pretty warm. Well, that's it for today, guys. A uh, handful of change, uh, $4 and something, and um, that's about it. Nothing too exciting. I've heard a rumor, and uh, we're going to track this down. There was an old hunting cabin back in the bush um, from the 30s, and my grandfather knew the fellow, and he left there. He was sick, and uh, apparently he had hid his guns and oiled cloths and everything. I don't think there'd be too much left of that, but uh, my dad and I were talking about that. He thinks he knows where the area is. So in the upcoming weeks, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to try to find some more interesting places. I know coins are pretty boring, and I'm going to try to stay away from that. I don't want to find coins either, unless they're old. So uh, let's try to get some more interesting stuff, and when I do, you guys will see it in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.